Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. I want to demonstrate a uh, QRS awesome feature where you can make an acoustic piano. So here, this piano is all taken apart and we, we're, we're still in the midst of a mess here because we just barely finished um, installing this, uh, um, this system and also it's going to work to our advantage because I'm going to be able to take things out to explain to you. But uh, basically, it enables you to take an acoustic piano. So this, of course, is an acoustic piano. Great, you're getting actually the other sound as well. And it turns it into a, um, let's see, where's the, there it is. It turns it into a digital piano. Um, so for example, when I, when I pull this lever right here, why don't you get a shot of this lever yeah. over here. So this little thing here, it engages a thing that makes it so the, the uh, if I turn the volume down, you can see you can see what it does. Um, so it it makes it so the acoustic piano action, which is what I'm playing, doesn't actually the, the hammers don't actually strike the string. So what you have in here is you have hammers. You can see them in there. Actually, they look like they're striking the strings, but there's a little lever in there that that thing that I showed you under the underneath the piano, when it's engaged. It, it stops the hammer immediately before it actually strikes the strings. So the strings aren't actually being struck. Um, but then there's a second part. There's a, there's a little sensor, it's an optical sensor, running underneath these keys. And what it does is it senses the movement of the piano action. And um, so like, here's a marimba. <laughs> like all of these just tons of harpsichord um, electric piano Um, and I mean, there's literally, there's just, and of course, organ sounds, harmonica, jazz guitar, lots of different guitars, acoustic bass, slap bass, cello, harp, strings, um, synth strings, voice oz. <laughs> ooze, uh, trumpet, trombone, anyway, all of these different, lots of different sounds. There was one that we were playing with earlier that was fun. Or like drums even. Oh, so what we were doing earlier just for fun is we had, let's find it. Um, We were playing drums along with like, uh, it's kind of a weird sound, drums and piano together. So an acoustic piano with, with the drums coming through the speakers. Mm -hmm. um, telephone. Oops, gotta engage <laughs> that. It's a weird telephone. Anyway, so fun stuff too. Gunshot. And you can adjust the volume. You can of course plug a plug a, a uh, um, Yeah, here's the headphones. Headphone. Headphone. Jack's right there. There's and two so, of them. So and there's a SD card. Well a little keychain drive thing too. So you can also that. Okay. Um, change the volume. So that's a very faint volume. We've got someone tuning the piano in the background there. So there's a very faint volume that I'm messing with there. Turn it up to full. Um, anyway, organ.
lots of lots of different you things can that you can do. Record too, like yourself, and add layers and. So lots of different fun things that you can do. Um, so maybe um, why don't you get a shot of the speakers underneath, and then I'll um, so I can take this out just to kind of further demonstrate. I guess while oh here they are, they're on this side. Yeah, it's a big speaker. That that speaker is huge. There's a better view of it. There's the system right there. So come on, come on back up here and I'll show you the... So of course here's the, the piano action. Of course that's an acoustic piano action. This is the... This was the big breakthrough 300 years ago. Was this was this piano action. This is what makes piano a piano. Um, and of course, a digital piano. The this is the greatest advantage, as I see it, over a digital piano, is that is that in a digital piano you have um, a system of like uh, weights and springs and kind of levers that sort of try and um, simulate the touch of a of a piano action. But it falls so far short. And any musician, not even not even an advanced musician, even just a kind of a um, I would say an intermediate musician, even probably a lot of beginning musicians or piano players anyway, would definitely be able to tell the difference between a, an acoustic piano action, the real thing, and what I feel like is a counterfeit of this real thing, which is a digital piano action. But doing it this way, you have the advantage of being able to play with headphones or being able to play all of these other um, sounds through the speakers that are, that are neatly and, and um, discreetly mounted under the piano. Um, so, so why don't I put this, this action just over here on the table, and then let's get a, a camera shot in there so you can see what's actually going on. Here, so this, that thing, here it is getting in, disengaged and engaged. So when it's engaged, the hammer comes up and isn't able to go all the way. Then when it's disengaged, the hammer makes it all the way up to the all the way up to the string, thereby striking the string. Anyway, really cool system, just a ton of fun, um, and we we install them somewhat regularly here. They're they're fairly popular, so yeah, pretty cool additional thing that we do here at Brigham Larson Pianos. Thanks for watching.